shortening, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. Back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Taken by Alexiak. Short-handed by number 94. Dimitri Moves it around Oso. along the half wall. Excellent stick work on the play. Avechkin's got it along the wing. Rips it along the wall. Oh, what a stop. Quick feed to play. Big hit. Takes the puck at the point. A chance in front, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Moves it quickly over to Ovechkin. Carries it in. From point blank, scores! Hard to get him much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Toronto's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. Here's a howitzer at the net. What a stop! Moves along the blue line. Puts it up front. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, he'd like a mulligan on that miss. Yo, you got to get it on net, James. Yeah, the mulligan would be great because you don't even test the goalie here. You never had that happen, right? Many, many times. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Move to the middle. And now he angles it across to Eckholm. Denies him with the save. And manages to clear the zone. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. Huge steal in his own end. Pass to Lucic. Slides it to Marner. Heads deep inside. Scores! Mitch Marner! Toronto's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Matthews wins it. Scored by number 96, Mitchell Marner. Here's a shot wide of the net. Now he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Take it along the wall by Matthews. And that one's broken up. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Great save. There it is. He scores. All over the rebound. Once this puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. Toronto's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals, and you need lots of them. Attack. Puck scooped up by Dunn, and they'll dump it in. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Time of the goal. Five minutes. Tries, scores! Well, now they're only down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance, but they've got to score again quick. Oh, it's a nifty move. You get in tight to the goalie. Sometimes you run out of room, but he went to the backhand. Nicely done, and beats the goalie. Toronto's 
still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. It gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. O'Reilly's won it, and now it's grabbed by Dunn. Dumps it in. Toronto's got it from behind the net. Here they come on the attack. All alone! Right out in front. He scores! That's three on the road. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed, though, here. No, there's not going to be. I mean... This is a terrific game for him. He's got three, and you're right, on the road, nobody's throwing their buckets. Once he gets into the clear, this is about two things, his speed to pull away and his calmness to make this beautiful deke to finish this off. Well, they're finally getting the hats off the ice. Did you ever keep any of these for you? No, I looked at them. Some of them were awesome. Others looked like they've been worn a long time. <laughs> puck grabbed by Alexiak. Scored by number 92. Assisted by number Slides the puck over. And by number From the point! Comes up with the stop. Grabbed along the boards by Tavares. Takes a blast. Too high. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. And now it's over to O'Reilly. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. The Leafs continue to be in the right place at the right time. Another intercepted pass. Quick shot, and it comes up with the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Leafs still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one the shot and that carries off a stick st louis has it in the defensive end the blues have it against the wall grabs the puck at center toronto's got it in the neutral zone there he is from the slot he scores and we are all evened up toronto's heart on full display here in the later stages of this third period with that big goal Never backed down, kept pushing, finally even this game up. Now hopefully can find the winner. And now he tries to get it across to Lucic. Just wide! Oh, that's gonna be a penalty. They're gonna have to call that. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Burns caught red-handed by the officials here. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's gonna be called. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight. And so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Fires it into the offensive zone. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Tries to tuck it in! That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As that's a, That looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. They're just trying to get out of this alive to keep the game tied. What a gift. A shorthanded goal. An outstanding effort. And now they've got the lead. Toronto's found themselves a critical goal here late in the third period. Now a question is... Hanging on, can they do it? I think they can, but it has to be by being aggressive. You're now into the last half of the period. The clock goes pretty fast if you're aggressive. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. Comes up with the stop. Keeps it alive. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. And he says no! He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here's the official call. Perron's been nabbed for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Big stick save by the goaltender. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Puck picked up by Tarasenko. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Offside the 
call. And we'll... He let that one oh, go boy. after the whistle. Well, here comes the response. You can't do that. You cannot shoot the puck after the whistle and expect that nobody's going to get grumpy. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. Both guys trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here, but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Matthews wins it in the neutral zone. Denied by the goaltender. St. Louis skins a hold of the puck against the boards. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. And nothing doing with the goaltender there. Uh, that's really good strength by the goaltender as they quickly get over to the side of the net, right tucked up against the post to make the save. Feeds the puck over to Dunn. Rocks him. St. Louis takes possession of the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Ovechkin. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. O'Reilly's moving the puck through his own zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. We'd like to thank you for your support. The Leafs continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Here's a shot and makes the save. From one point man to another. Big save by the goaltender once again. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. With the stop. Ah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Right, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on their way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. <laughs> More than half the frame has been played. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And there's the save. Sends a pass over. Sends it in on the attack. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. The Blues have it in the offensive end. And that one's turned away. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Trying to shake off the defender. Penalty expires, and when you look at where things sit right now, that's a huge, huge play by the penalty killers. Sometimes a power play is more critical than others. Lots of pressure on that five-man group. They didn't get it done, though. They missed it at a really important time. Takes it across the blue line. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. And he gains the zone here. He's got a step. Score! Wow, this is a great reaction, James. He doesn't have much time to finish it off. Makes a perfect shot. He's so calm on this breakaway. He's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. Here in the later stages of this period, Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Plays one possession. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Puck jumped in. They'll get a fresh defensive pairing out there. Hangs onto the puck. 
Here's the chance to clear the puck from his own end. And it's taken by a teammate and stays in. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Matthews looks to play it behind the net. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Big hit. Well, he's going to have to pick himself up. But then he's got to go get his twig, which is slid all the way over there before he can get back into play. Gets it out of his own end. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Leafs lead it late in this third period. Tavares has won the faceoff. One-time blast. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. Some people will tell you face-offs don't matter until they do. That's a clean face-off win in a one-time tally. Toronto's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Tries to get the puck to Primo. They've got the defense outnumbered. He scores again! Well, you get one, you think you might get two, but after a while, you're like, hey, how many can I get? The puck keeps coming to him, and he keeps finishing it off. Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short, and they make them pay. Lamplighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. McDavid's taking it from his own end. McDavid's gaining momentum. Moves the puck. He scores! My goodness, what a goal as he goes coast to coast. If you ever wondered what a confident player looks like, this is it. Look at him work his way through the entire team, confidently gets to the front of the net, and puts it away. Toronto's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, a big time late in this third. O'Reilly's won the draw. Takes the feed. Fires it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the puck along the boards. Big save. Sharp reaction save. Ovechkin's got it in the defensive end. Snapper from the slot. He scores! Wow! way through the entire team, head up, looks at his options, decides he's the best option, and finishes it off. Oh, the goalie's going east on a westbound street. That puck deflects off the defender and goes into the net. The Leafs have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. I can't even imagine what the message will be from the coaching staff after this one when you let a lead get away and then let it run wild away. This is one where the coach doesn't even go in the locker room after the game. There's really nothing to say. They played a really poor third period. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Zabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.